When you earn your degree online at Arizona State University, you get everything the nation's most innovative university has to offer. The same internationally recognized faculty, the same nationally ranked programs, the same degree. Learn more at asuonline.asu.edu. Hey guys, it's Bran. Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good one. Um, just a quick reminder before we start today's episode, no new movie this week, and so we have a couple of uh, fun episodes for you. Uh, including a mailbag episode on Thursday. But first, we have a preview show. We're going to be previewing the New Year New Movie Movies. And a quick reminder, in case somehow you missed the news, that we are now on Philo. That is how you can watch us. So you can watch all the episodes from the holiday season on Philo at philo.tv. And not just that, you can also watch all of the movies that we are going to be discussing today on Philo. So everything right there at your fingertips on the Philo app. Go get it. Go grab it, because I think you're going to like it. And if in case you somehow missed where we have been and why we're not on YouTube, it's because we're on Philo now. And it's all in one nice, safe space. Philo.tv slash DTH. Go check that out. Without further ado, here's today's episode. Hi, I'm Brian, and I love New Year New Movie Movies. I'm Brian, and I like New Year, New Movie Movies. I'm Dan, and please help me. I'm yeah. being held against my will. And this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. <laughs> Bring Dan and friends host this podcast. <laughs> we hope you like this jolly podcast. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hi everybody! We're doing what? Yep. Yep. It's uh, it is the saddest week of the year. We're no new movies, <laughs> no new movies. Agreed Christmas disagree. is over. There's no mm. point in living anymore. Uh-huh. Tree it's, is out by the road. Not that one though. Life is not good. that one. Merry, uh, merry uh, belated Christmas to to all, and to happy all. New Year. Hopefully, you're uh, enjoying your week. Maybe you're uh, off for the week. Maybe, yeah, I don't know what you're maybe. doing. I don't know. It's that but week I, where every time doesn't really exist. Time doesn't exist. Know? Yeah, it's, it's the hazy. week between Christmas and New Year, and you're just uh, just out to lunch. I don't know. You're out to lunch. Yeah, out to lunch. But maybe <laughs> you good. can't go you out. Can't to lunch. maybe you could. You can't. Right, nobody's there. Um, this is the year. What is it? Um, oh, the the song, the Christmas song, where everyone's excited for their kids to go back to school. That's yep, this. That that's one, this. That one. This Mom and Dad can hardly wait for the school, school, to to school to start, to start again. again. I don't know if we're there yet today. I'm still yeah. enjoying my kids, but yeah. ask me again on Thursday for yeah, the mailbag. Yeah, typically by episode. like late in the week, brains like, hey, these these kids. Can yeah, you? Can we just? Can yeah. we just? We not. <laughs> Can we just send them out? You got put all you, four of them in put, one throw yard. Throw Ray and Jay in the backyard. That's we'll right. go. We'll leave. That's right. They'll be fine. Yeah, it was a Lord of the Flies situation. Yeah, Grizz, Gav, Ray, Jay, a big party in the backyard. Right. The parents are gone. Six-year-old has seniority. That's, that's right. right. Over the yeah. five-year-old. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's true. But they can all chew gum. Aside all, from that's Gavin, right. it's a big, uh, big party. Yeah. Um, guys, we're talking about the New Year, new movie, movies. We got five movies. Um. This is so stupid. It's not stupid. Stop. Three of them are wedding veil movies. Zero creams. Zero sh- ships in snow. What are we doing? Zero um, ships. We'll do one out of five. Snowshoes. I think one out of five snowshoes is snowshoes. nice. Snowshoes. One out of five snowshoes is nice. Um, but no, you, but we shouldn't do that either because they're not winter movies. They're New Year movies. Right, and right. There's a difference. Party poppers. Party. Champagne glasses. Uh, one out of five. Uh, oh, oh, uh, five old Lang Zines. <laughs> and, and a cream. I like flutes. Can you, give, me, give me five old Lang Zines <laughs> and, a, and a cream. Please. One out of five champagne flutes. How about that? Do we And one cream. And one cream. Champagne one flutes. Cre- one cream. Uh, are you guys ready to dive in? I was oh, born yeah. ready, Brand. Up first, January 1st, New Year's Day. You're wow. recovering from the night before, and yeah. you die. <laughs> so it's done. Happy New Year, baby. Football, no chance. Give me this movie, Brand. Uh, what if I told you that the first movie out of the year, the first day of the year, we're getting a Johnson joint? Yeah. Big Johnson. This movie is uh, called <laughs> The Dog Lover's Guide to Dating. Stop, Stop it. No. <laughs> uh, the, no. The Dog Lover's Guide to Dating. Uh-huh. It is uh, with Rebecca Dalton 
And our the guy, Rebecca Dalton. guys, there's a severe weather warning. Corey Come Severe's on. in the house. Corey oh, Severe man. owns stock in Johnson. <laughs> there's no way around. <laughs> or the vice versa. I don't, vice we don't know. Versa. We don't know. He signed a 1,200 picture <laughs> deal with Johnson. Yeah. That's what he did. Uh, Rebecca Dalton's uh, from Good Witch and A Perfect Christmas. Oh, uh, how have I not heard of her before? And we know Corey Severe yeah. from, uh, Severe from, the, from the Weather Channel. Everyone. From award-winning Noel Next Door. Should right. be award-winning, award winning. I should say. Probably going to um, make Grand's top ten. Alex, played by Rebecca Dalton, is a professional dog trainer mm-hmm. who is more enamored uh, of her four-legged clients than she is of their owners, yeah. who she never fully trusts. Her skepticism of a do- of the dog's two-legged best friend makes for a difficult or rather non-existent dating life for Alex. She can't date anyone because she doesn't <laughs> she respect doesn't trust them. dog owners. She isn't she doesn't Why doesn't she date someone that doesn't own a dog? I, I think what they're trying to say in a lot of words <laughs> is she doesn't like people. Yeah. Okay. Just okay, Cause but they, there's like a roundabout way of saying like it. Dog owners and that I know are dating life, I think which it's is a, a weird thing to say. I, I think it's across the board more of a people thing. I can't date anyone. <laughs> Uh, Simon, played by the severe weather warning, has the opposite problem. He's found the girl of his dreams. He just needs to win her do- uh, win her dog. What? Over. Oh. Win her dog over? That's not what it says. He just needs to her dog win. Is up for a contest? Okay, okay, okay. Will hold you on. Win hold the on. dog? He just needs to win She's over her owner. dog. Right. Win over her dog. Got you it. up. There it is. Yes. It's my fault. It's my fault this time. So they can she, live happily he ever after. He just needs to win her dog. <laughs> over. When he discovers Alex's impeccable dog training skills, he convinces her to train him in the ways of the canine so oh. that he can show oh, yeah. <laughs> so that he can show her his girlfriend the ways of the canine. Yeah. So that he can show his girlfriend Chloe, played by Eliza King of Surreal Estate. Oh, uh, Surreal Estate. And her beloved Pug. What a fun loving pack leader he can be. Oh my god. Alex reluctantly agrees to help, not convinced that dog training can turn Simon's dating life around. Alex's focus is split as she has bigger problems and needs to raise enough money to save the local animal yeah, shelter. Stop it. <laughs> of course she does. Simon jumps into action, eager to is this show the whole movie. <laughs> I got a long boy for this yeah. one. Uh, Simon jumps into action, eager to show off his marketing skills to Alex. She may know dogs, but he understands people and knows how to, how to get their support. Together, they throw a fundraising event in hopes of saving the shelter. As they spend more time together, Simon realizes that he's been barking up the wrong no, tree the whole time no, no. and he's been surprisingly falling for alex all along will the fundraiser be enough to keep the shelter open and will alex let simon melt her heart and their new bond over the cold nosed furry friends be enough a lot of questions uh, you can reach out to the canine, Julie. like a martial art <laughs> Yeah. It'll yeah. be a training montage. It's like a dog martial arts. It's like dog karate. Big yes. Johnson is an executive producer. And you can reach out to Julian Spears Julian, at hallmarkmedia.com mm. for all your press needs. Uh, all right. One out of five uh, Ooh, champagne, champagne flutes. flutes. I almost said canine flutes. Uh, uh, what are you guys thinking, Brian? Well, this one, I, so a relationship gets destroyed. What's going no, on there, Brian? Not you not watching so videos funny. in your spare time? No, <laughs> I went talks? to the went can't, to a different tab. Can't and that get a tab respect. For, you just can't sound. have enough respect for Brian. Literally, you have four words. You started watching a video, Brian. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Is yep. it good? We're on your time, Brian. You just tell us yeah, I know. Right. Okay. I know. Okay. So, you don't sit in this chair. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one. Uh, I'm not going to cream this movie. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to that for sure. Uh, the destroying the relationship, the saving the shelter, mm-hmm. um, not d- d- like, st- I mean, this is the first day of the year. <laughs> this is not a new concept. Will it be better than the Jen Lilly movie last year? Uh, and I'm still a little, I mean, we just came off a of Corgi, a dog movie that was underwhelming. And so I think I still have a bad taste in my mouth for dog movies. So I'm like two. 
Champagne flutes. Two champagne flutes. Wow. How Flops. dare you go so low? One there. for you and one yeah. for the dog. This, and the dog. Well, right. severe weather. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah severe. Uh, Dan? Um, yeah, I would try to work a dog pun in here, but I believe the synopsis took all of them. Uh, this sounds atrocious. You know things are rough. When, uh, uh, oh, so rough. Uh, <laughs> man, uh, just gets me, like, hot under the collar. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> is that a dog pun? Sure, sure. <laughs> dogs wear collars. Dogs wear collars. So. Leashes, yeah, yeah. leash. Yeah. Yeah. Off, the, leash. off the leash. With I'm going to need you yeah. to pause right there. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. That took yeah, a yeah, minute. Yeah. All right, keep going. Keep so going. all I need to say is wolf. Uh, this is uh, this is not, not, not looking good. Um, I feel like Big Johnson's made this movie at least a half a dozen times. Uh, there was a Natalie Hall movie where she's not the trainer but needs a dog trained, and it's like Marcus Rosner who doesn't trust people, and, like, they're also saving a shelter, and I believe it's a Big Johnson movie. Huh. I think it's the same huh. movie. Um, so, yeah, needless to say, I'm not excited at all. Preview episodes in this movie are both in the same boat. Zero <laughs> champagne flutes. Oh. Zero cream, which that means that I will probably only be creaming whatever the last movie is. Hope it's not terrible. Um, so oh, I do. Julie in the comments said it was Andrea Brooks. That's right. Andrea That's Brooks. Right. Yes. Not, not Natalie Hall. My bad. We do love Andrea Brooks, though. Yeah. We love Marcus Ross. I do tend to cream Corey Zavere, um, <laughs> but I'll hold off on this one. I, I am skeptical. I tend to not love this style of movie <laughs> but it's the first movie of the year and hallmark wouldn't put a stinker on january 1st so i'm gonna go four they would never put a stinker on i'm gonna january go four 1st. champagne flutes wow. there you go one for severe weather warning one for the dogs two for the show makes four to go <laughs> uh so there you go there's my four champagne flutes but no cream for me do we do we underappreciate the Michael Rady, Amy T. Garden movie? I feel like we underappreciate. Well, because it was a New Year's movie. Yeah, yeah, that they didn't play the first weekend of the year. And I remember and that. Was, <laughs> and it's like easily the best January movie I think I've ever seen on the network. Like, right? Like, I feel like we don't give it enough love. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, thank you. It's tea just, time. It's made me think of better days. We love Michael Rady. Oh. He's coming back. Is he? Yeah, he's back for more, baby. On the show? He Movie. was uh, potentially already on the show. Oh, it's depending on. <laughs> but That's he's good. also uh, going to be in a movie later. Wow. So. Excellent. What a guy. Yeah. But he was you potentially he, already on the Yes. You remember when he was potentially. Who doesn't? We, um, last week. Um, let's talk about The Wedding Veil, a movie. Um, and by the, I mean one of three. Uh, the Wedding Veil, Expectations. This is starring Lacey Chabert, Kevin McGarry, Autumn Reeser, Allison Sweeney. Thank goodness for more Wedding Veil movies. This is Saturday, January 7th. They In got the all my letters <laughs> and all my texts and calls and emails. Yay! You did it, Dan. Three more movies. <laughs> Three more movies. If there are more Star Wars movies than Wedding Veil yeah. movies, we haven't had enough. Mm -hmm. You've always haven't said had enough. You've always said that. In the first movie of the second sequel trilogy, I added that. First movie of the, the second trilogy. In the first movie of this sequel trilogy, which is the second trilogy of this specific, uh, Avery and her husband Peter, they're married, uh, are in the midst of renovating the old house they've purchased, which is proving to be a bigger undertaking than they anticipated. Avery has some exciting news to share with him, but is waiting for the right moment. She's pregnant. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb say yeah. she's pregnant. But that's not in the synopsis. It's not in the synopsis. I'm just going to go out on a limb. Sure. She wants to redecorate the uh, guest room. <laughs> Make it a nursery. Yeah. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Avery's mother-in-law, Grace, reconnects with a former beau, mm. and Peter has concerns. Bo Jackson, maybe? Peter's concerned about his mother-in-law's dating life. That's, oh, knows his mom's dating life. Uh, between that, 
The pitfalls of remodeling and navigating the politics of having a new boss at the museum. Mm. Avery is lucky to have Emma and Tracy, huh? Who offer support from afar, as well as in person, when they decide a video chat won't suffice. Between them. Got it. I was like, video chat with whom? <laughs> uh, when newly That's a great went, use of whom. Thank you. I, I got to be honest. I didn't see it coming. Not now, not ever. Thank you. And you nailed it, Not buddy. now, not. <laughs> you don't think <laughs> I would never. ever use whom correctly? Correct. Wow. All right. Fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when newlywed Tracy returns the antique wedding veil to Emma. Who's Emma? Oh, is that Allison Sweeney? Sure. Or maybe it's Autumn Reeser. Yeah. Uh, the friends may find, no, it's, it's definitely, it's Allison. Cause Allison Sweeney didn't get married at the end. Didn't. Right. The friends may find that they haven't seen the last of its magic. All right. Uh, Brian, that was it. That's We're it there. Okay. Ooh, boy. You're all right. That yawn yeah. isn't cause I'm tired. <laughs> sure. Well, I'm behind on these. This That's series. right. You oh, haven't yeah. seen. You are are you going to watch the first three? Yeah. Please are you going to use yeah, uh, this week uh, yeah. to, to prep? Don't spend time with your family. No, watch no. uh, all yeah. of these movies. Yeah, I've had enough of them. So, <laughs> onto the movie. I think I feel like I need to. Yeah. For you really don't. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't go the into Vickster. it. The third one's the got the Vickster in I mean, it. That guy does no wrong. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, I know there's a lot of hype around these. We got a lot of uh, not excitement from some in the crowd, and uh, we got a lot of not excitement, not excitement from some in some. the crowd. That's right. That's as panda a sentence as you've ever uttered. <laughs> it's working. He's been tra training me. Yeah, it's like just in the way of the canine. Just, yeah. In the way. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go three flutes on this one because. Uh, right down the middle, uh, because I don't have negative or positive feelings yet, and I feel like down the middle is the safest way to go. 2.5. And so three floats Flouts. right down the middle. No cream at this time. No cream at this time. No further, <laughs> yeah. no further cream at this right. time. There might yeah. be a retroactive creaming. That's right, but not right now. Not right and now. What you don't know is, and Brand didn't say, is Kevin McGarry is wielding an unimaginable yeah, Boston I, accent. I, I in this remember. Movie. This. Oh, I, I forgot hearing. about I that. I mean, yeah. it is brutal. Do, let's take bets. Does it return for this movie? You would hope not, right? I bet it, knowing Kevin McGarry, I bet it returns and it's better. Okay. So he's worked on it. He's honed his craft. Yeah, it's it's this side of one of us doing a JFK impression. Listen, I <laughs> Kev, Kevin is a, a fantastic actor, and I he I, is. I am sure he looked back at that and, and was not happy with the way that it because he does stuff in yeah. Wind Calls the Heart that's way better than Wind Calls the Heart. Yeah, he's a great actor. A great it's just actor. inconsistent and all over the place. Well, I, yeah, I th and but I, I think uh, yeah, I agree. I think it's going to come back and it's going to be better than ever. Fingers crossed. Great. Dan? It's so. a zero zero situation for me. Double ought. Wow. Double ought for the wedding veil. This should come as no surprise. Almost fell asleep in the preview episode. Maybe want to quit my job. I can't believe they're making more of these movies. Zero champagne flutes. Not a cream. Not a cream in sight. It drives the Sahara over here. Uh, to say that I was, even I, a lover of these movies, was disappointed that we were getting another wedding veil sequel. A trilogy, another trilogy, a sequel trilogy, something never done before in the history of cinema. They do a they do a trilogy, and they say it's different than Star Wars. It's different because Star Wars, we knew we were going to get six, right? We, we start with four, five, six. We know eventually we're going to come back around and do one, two. Well, they, three. When he announced the first Star Wars movie, that was not the case. Okay, that was later added by George Lucas. But yeah, it's still different. It's Yes. This was... Episode we, four does start A New Hope, though. Okay. That's true. Ne we never would have thought. We never would have thought we would have gotten an, another trilogy. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Another year, another trilogy. What makes this different is that we're getting them back to back to back. Last year, we had a little bit of a buffer between one and two. I am going to go in with clear eyes, full hearts, can potentially lose. can lose, right. but let's find out. I'm going to keep things open. I'm going to go one champagne flute. Wow. So wow. You, your open mind. An open mind. For the lover of these movies is one flute. Oh, it's it's not. A, yes, it's open. It's open. 
I'm one flute, but open to more. Yeah, okay. We'll yeah. see where the night one leads us. One flute in a I'm, champagne tower. I am going to start with one flute, and I'm going to go from there. Okay. Depending on right. how the movie goes, I might need more. Yep. yep, yep, yep. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's take one quick break. We'll come back, and we'll get the, the last three. How about yeah, that? Does that absolutely. sound good to everybody? We'll be right back uh, here on Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. Amy, I did not hate on Spirited. I just want to think you were so I don't hard know on if it. You know this brand, but if you say it really didn't work for you or yeah. it was okay, yeah. that is the equivalent of you just spitting in the face of its mother. I understand. <laughs> That's what that is. I understand. I, I, I know. I know the the bed that I've made. That's right. I have to lay in it. Um, up next, welcome back to the uh, uh, New Year New Movies preview show mm. here on Deck the Hallmark. Uh, we've done uh, one vet Wedding Veil movie, and we're just getting started. Uh, up next, January 14th, happy birthday to my brother Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Mark. Happy birthday, Josh. Mark Josh. Number Gosling. 47. Uh, <laughs> Saturday, January 14th. Uh, this is the Wedding Veil inspiration. Mm. What was the other one? I will give one? you... A million dollars if you can name <laughs> all three of the first trilogy's titles. The Wedding <laughs> Veil by itself. Okay. I got one, right? Yeah. The Wedding Veil 2, um, where they're in Italy. So let's I go. I think with, it might uh, be Unveiled. That's a. Uh, the Wedding Veil Unveiled. The Wedding Veil Unveiled is the second one. The Wedding Veil Unveiled. Yep. Wow. That's the third one. Okay. <laughs> sure. The Victor, Victor Webster, because she doesn't get married. The wedding The veil. second one is Wedding Veil Legacy. Alert. The Wedding Veil so? Legacy. Uh, like legacy. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, re yes. Okay. Boom. A million bucks coming your way. Well, I got one. No, that's, I'm sorry. Legacy is the third one. Unveiled is the second one. Yep. Uh, so, but uh, collectively, we, we have a million dollars. We did it. We did it. We know our stuff. Is the first the first one is just the wedding, just the wedding veil? veil? Come on, guys. Yeah, let's get creative. No, no, no. That's that's a, it's important. Okay, uh, this is inspiration. You're what was the, the one? The third one. The, the, a legacy. Like no. The, so the first one. The first oh. one. The fourth one. Yeah, the fourth yeah. one. That's what I'm. Episode for. four. Uh, <laughs> expectations. Expectations. <laughs> expectations. Is this, this is inspiration. Not great. Just expectations. It's just expectations, which I don't know what they're like expecting. Unveiled. Well, legacy. if she's expecting, then oh, oh! Expecting. we've already done <laughs> the whole movie right here. <laughs> 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 what is this supposed to be doing? Uh, man, we didn't do that during the Rocket movie. Are you kidding me? We blew it. <laughs> Go back in time. Um, the Wedding Veil inspiration. This is Autumn Racer. This is Paolo. You're the inspiration. Paolo Boncaro. Nope. Paolo Bernardini. Yes. Ooh, Paolo is playing Paolo. I remember Paolo's that. Paolo's right. playing Paolo. That's exactly right. Yes. In Italy, the second Paolo, movie. Paolo in the veil. Paolo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the, uh, you think yeah. Panda will come back for the Wedding Veil movies? I don't think he will. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually the Wedding Veil movies are the reason he left. Uh, in the second movie of this sec uh, sequel trilogy. <laughs> the second movie of this second. Yeah. The third movie's uh, tagline is Dump Tron. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Wedding is Veil six. Dump Tron. <laughs> uh, Emma is teaching and working hard to prove that she can step into the department chair role yeah. as Paolo's lace shop is about to open. Oh. On track for her oh, life goodness. plan, Emma feels strongly that things fall into place before she and Paolo grow their family. As the couple navigates their busy work schedules and finding their perfect time, finding the perfect time, Emma bumps heads with the current chair of her department and starts questioning her life choices. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me After too. a head bump? Me too, you, Brian. But you bump heads with someone that you work with and you start questioning your life choices? <laughs> Good Lord. How do they bump heads in a college yes. environment? With support from Paolo and perhaps a little help from the veil. Oh, that's the answer? Great. <laughs> Will Emma find courage to stop planning her life and start living it? Brian. So uh -huh. the veil, wait a minute. She bumps, he has a head trauma, questions her life choices, hey. and the veil is going to help her straighten all that out? Dan, that is, this the veil's not a doctor. Dan, Dan, this isn't a literal bump head. It is. This is a clashing of uh, oh, ideals. Oh, like ideals. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know. It doesn't say that. Emma bumps Still, head. Still, the veil helping is weird. Yeah. Yep. The I veil's thought, about getting married. But I thought she 
gave the veil to out to to Allison Sweeney. I'm telling you, magic veil. <laughs> you sure are, pal, <laughs> yeah. Brian. So, oh uh, boy, this is risky because it's either if we, I can't cream it, um, but we only None have two can. left. It's not possible. So it's either going to be creaming the last wedding veil or whatever the other new one yeah. is. So, and this I'm going to stay straight down the middle on this one. I, this 5. is more three and a, three three flutes. <laughs> Three and um, a half. <laughs> I was going to go three and a half, but no, three. Uh, this is a little more intriguing. The la- He's got a lace shop. Wow, cool. man. That's, they're really pulling out all the stops. Well, you would know that if you had watched the, s- right. the second that's one. That's right. I'm a little behind. That sounds You'll like get there. He's a craftsman, and, I, and Autumn Reeser obviously does a great job. So right down the middle with three. Oh, wow. Yeah. What did you do for the first? The three. three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you've done three for both. Okay, that's great. Right. Uh, Dan? Zero, zero. Zero, zero. This is the most useless preview show of all time. This movie sounds worse than the first one. And by the first one, I mean the fourth one. (laughs) This one sounds somehow more boring than life itself. Hmm. Life isn't boring. That's a bad... Yeah, that was terrible. It's bad. I'm I'm, I'm all out of sorts. (laughs) There's nothing I can do. Man, Dan, go to therapy. No kidding. Life's life's boring. It's meaningless. meaningless. (laughs) The first movie is a Big Johnson dog training movie. The next two are Wedding Veil 4 and 5, Bran. The case for nihilism is being made. Neil Bledsoe? No, nihilism. That is a different nihilism, okay. which would be. Yes, wonderful. which I'm that sounds better. Yeah, not against. Um, I don't know, man. One. Again. Okay. One again. Sure. I, Welcome. Come on. I Come on. There are a, like I, I I don't know uh, there's a there's a quite the juxtaposition with me because my I, my love for Hallmark movies knows no bounds until we get to the wedding veil and then it's like uh, everything goes out the window I I don't know why we're doing this again and I'm very upset about it it hurts me because we've been doing so good and I, now it just feels like nothing matters and. Uh, I don't know. And I don't like talking like this. So I'm just going to move on. I don't like talking like this. Unfortunately, we're moving on to another wedding veil. <laughs> yes. The wedding veil journey. Ooh, no. Wedding veil. The last one should be wedding veil available. Ooh. Because <laughs> they're done with it, hopefully. No. Right? No, probably not. Oh, man. Uh, the wedding veil journey. Uh, Saturday, January 21st. Happy birthday to my sister. Wow. Uh, the day before, but close enough. Uh, starring Allison Sweeney, the Vixter, Webster, nice. uh, Lacey Shabbert, and Autumn Reser. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> In the third movie of the sequel trilogy, Tracy is now head of the auction house, and Nick's restaurant oh is such God. a success, he's looking at <laughs> expanding. Phew! Yeah. Their success comes at a cost, though. Oh, no. The devil shows up. They have to sell their souls. They went down to Georgia. I'm kidding. However, as it gives them a little time to see each other, that's why their success comes at the cost. Oh, uh, the couple agree to make time for their long overdue honeymoon. So they did get married? Yeah, sure. What's the? Why do we need the veil? <laughs> What's the veil's purpose in all of this? You're just now getting there, huh? They, <laughs> they, they had the water's to. Water's warm. That's, that was the problem, though, with going with a veil. And, like, that's pants. Like, Secret Life of the Pants movies. Secret Life of the <laughs> Pants movies. That's a movie that Riggs working on. Uh, but uh, th- at least that's like... It's real every- Hush Hush production. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wears pants, right? Shush, don't talk about the pants movie. <laughs> <laughs> but veils are very specific. They are. Uh, they head to Greece as it's time to... Uh, it's the perfect place to relax and sightsee. When a travel delay costs a couple their hotel room... What? Uh, they get the opportunity to stay on a remote island nearby. Wow. Wait, I, wait a minute. Oh, I love when I am late for yeah. a room, so I lose it, but yeah. luckily I can stumble onto a remote That's island. Right. You're, yeah. you're here at the uh, Howard Johnson Express. If you're not here by <laughs> six, we're giving your room away. But we do but, have a remote island available for you should you need it. That's right. Is it possible that the veil is once again <laughs> working in Spanish? Oh, Guys, we can't just credit everything to the veil. They're already married. The veil is God wink on steroids. <laughs> is it possible that the veil is once again working its magic and bringing them exactly where they need to be? Maybe. All right, Brian. I can't tell you how many times I've felt. Apparently, this might be a Ron Oliver joint. Yep. Ron Oliver that. directing this yeah, one. That's true. There you Boy, go. Um, this may make me rethink my zeros across the board strategy. All right. 
Brian. Um, I can't tell you the number of times I felt like I needed to be on a remote island. That's right. Yeah. So I can relate to that. Uh, I'm going to stick with... Uh, Did you take a bunch of day quill this morning? <laughs> I know. I'm a little... A little under the weather? The energy is low. No, I'm, yeah, I'm a little cloudy. Just a little cloudy? Tiny, you know, it's just it's catching just, up to me. It's just that time of year. It's just Caption. catching up to me, all this. Um, I've, uh, I do... I, I'm going three, again, three flutes, because I feel like it's only fair. To yeah, that is fair. You've you've made your bet at this point. Yep. Down so, the middle, again. Yep, right down the middle, three. Though, I, I would say Ron Oliver involved, Vixter involved, that's... That's a little more hype around that. A restaurant, an island. <laughs> a restaurant the, and the, an island? All restaurant those words Brant said. So I'll stick with three, and um, it looks like I'm creaming the last movie. Um, <laughs> I will go. Oh, sorry. Go, Dan. Go. Um, zero, so zero. I've been doing the double zero, and I, I've stood by those. Ron Oliver. Yeah. Secret Island. Mm. Veil helping out in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Still double zero. Oh, Still man. double zero. I, for I sure. can't believe there are six Wedding Veil movies. This is, I mean, we can't get one, one Christmas Saved by the Bell movie. <laughs> 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 Saved by the Christmas Bells. We've been asking for it. That's yeah, we got six title. of these. Life's not fair. No. Okay. Absolutely not. Um, I'll do one. To make that fair, but I'm going to cream this one. Whoa. I'll all cream right. a Wedding Veil movie. So go. we don't all cream the last movie? Yes. And I don't know what the last one is. It's, either. It's Vixter. I'm creaming Vixter. Yep. I'm creaming the remote island. Of the two couples, give me Vixter and Allison Sweeney all day long. I'm twice on Sunday. Couples, right? Uh, sorry, of the three couples. Um, Ron Oliver, too. Ron Oliver. Yeah, yeah. This seems like a good cream. I will go one because it's still a Wedding Veil movie. I'm not excited about it, but I'm going to do a flyer uh, and cream gonna this movie. Do a flyer <laughs> I'm going to do a flyer. this movie. That's exactly right. I said what I said and I meant it. Yep. Are you ready for the last one? I am. Yeah. Saturday, January 28th. Happy birthday. <laughs> Brian um, and Dan are creaming. Now, I, I've, got, I've got conflicting titles here on the Hallmark oh, Channel website. Great. Um, the image that is not the title, uh, it's not like the poster. It's just a, a default image, generic snow. Oh, I remember. It says Glacier about. Park Romance. Yeah. The synopsis calls it Glacier National Park Romance. Stop. I will say Glacier Park Romance is more. I'm creaming a movie about a national park? Uh, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Do I, yes. is this a, this it is, is I'm required by the, the cream bylaws to, to use my cream. Yeah. Yes. If you don't you use can't it, hold a cream. We didn't, we didn't check that in the latest uh, business meeting. We didn't vote. What is? What are you wanting to do? You want to not. not. Really? You, are you wanting to cream the first movie? I'm wanting to not cream any. You're not allowed to do that. You can't do that. That's not allowed. Yeah. That's been passed by, yeah. uh, by multiple bylaws. That's yeah. in stone. Yes. Yeah. It's in stone. Yeah. We, we write our bylaws in stone. Yeah, that, I thought that was actually <laughs> legally. We have a stone at you. Can, right, man. You can do bylaws without doing it in stone? Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. That seems, mm, that seems foggy. You're right. I don't know. Not these. Not our bylaws. Um, so this is something about the Glacier Park romance. I, it might be Glacier National Park romance. It might just be Glacier Park romance. But either way, it is starring Ashley Newborough, who we like, and Stephen Hazar. Huzzah! Huzzah! Is it a Renaissance movie? <laughs> yes. No. Sparks fly when Hannah, an expert in avalanche forecasting, you did what now? She and she's an expert so in avalanche. Her th can I just is, is say like, this really quickly? Up and she goes, can I say this, Dan? Feels we, like an avalanche we, today. Dan and I found out that avalanche forecasting is a thing. We did. We were doing a, some sort of TV spot. They cut to the weather That's beforehand. Right. That was last week. And there were multiple avalanche warnings. And I didn't know that was something you could warn. Hmm. I always assumed that avalanches were unpredictable. Yeah. Unpredictable. Yeah. But no, they're you like can, tornadoes. Apparently, if, wow. if everything is just right, you yeah. can say, "Hey, conditions are looking ripe for an avalanche. Don't make any loud noises." Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago in a uh, New York show. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. We but were, I do. We were just floored. Floored. I didn't know it was, it was multiple avalanche warnings. Yeah, I had no idea. Uh, but Hannah does that. She is an avalanche forecaster. Uh, brings her new technology. 
She's got new technology. She's got this is a new tech warning, everybody. Yep. Uh, brings her new technology to Glacier National Park and faces pushback from yep. the director of the Mountain Rescue. Is Hazar the director of Mountain I'm Rescue? I'm assuming. Who relies more on intuition yeah. and common sense. Yeah, he does. So he would have done what we did. Where he doesn't, he's not a common sense guy. No, he is a common sense guy. He relies, no, he relies on, on intuition and common yes. sense. She is just a by the book numbers. She's got all the text, science, whatever the text. Yeah. Says. No feeling. When he you're is, in the world of avalanche prediction, yeah. you have to go by the book. I've said that for years. Yeah. She, he is like he would have been like us though. He would have heard the news that avalanche forecasting was yeah. a thing and been like, no, nah. no, no, no. I can just feel it in the air. Uh, their dual approach brings more than it. forecasting to the forefront of their hearts. I don't think that sentence works. Their dual approach brings more than forecasting to the forefront of their hearts. <laughs> guys, you can't just throw say, words together. Say it one more Sorry, time. Guys, are, trying let's, to can, can we get a I'm whiteboard tired. out here? <laughs> yeah. Their dual approach. Their dual approach. So, so one I guess side intuition, one side, side tech, science. and like yeah. science. Bring more than forecasting to the forefront of their hearts. Yeah, Shouldn't their approach, br- their approach brings... Their dual approach brings. Yeah, it doesn't say that. It bring <laughs> their dual. Approach their bring, dual approach bring more than forecasting to the fore. So I guess what they're saying is currently the one only one. thing that their heart cares about is forecasting. forecasting. It's in the just different front. approaches. But if they combine if their they, approaches, there's their now love's going to enter the mix. Yep. I think that's what they're getting at here. You think we have a chance of anybody dying on the mountain? No. Mm. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. Brian. Oh my goodness! Uh, I just hope the relationship doesn't get in the way of the forecasting that's needed. If they start slacking on the forecasting and start, you know, skipping around the mountain, then we might have a death. Well, with Ashley's yeah. way, though, you can use tech because then you don't have to be tech, all. You don't have you to, know, like, you don't have to focus. Yeah. Text, you'll just wah, wah. Yeah, avalanche alert. Avalanche coming. Coming. <laughs> get out of the way. Get out of the way. Quick. So obviously, going to cream this an avalanche of cream. It's an avalanche. It's a one. cream avalanche. Cream avalanche everybody, avalanche. look yeah. out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> get your get your snorkel on. <laughs> no, no. Get your Saint Bernard and hot chocolate ready. Yeah. Uh, so cream this one, and uh, I'm just gonna go with two flutes here of champagne for okay. this flick. Okay. Damn. Good grief, man! It's another zero. Oh my word! Oh come on! You can't just avalanche prediction, Bran. Yes. Yes. It's a real thing, you guys. Dual approach. Yeah. Love. Four fronts. But I'm creaming it because I, I guess I haven't creamed one in a while. So the yeah, you haven't. You haven't. You got a built up cream situation. Here. Yeah. yeah um, I'm going to go with uh, four flutes on this one. I, I think this one sounds really good. I'm very excited about this one. Interesting. I I wish that I could have creamed, but I I, I you know what? No, premature. I'm, no, no. You can't, I'm glad. You've already I'm glad. You can't put that. I'm you glad can't put I that did it. Back I'm, in the tube. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I creamed Victor Webster. So Glacier <laughs> National Park romance four champagne flutes with me. Uh, really quickly, <laughs> four champagne flutes with me. <laughs> Not for me. Really or quickly, from me, with we, me. We also have a new series beginning on oh, January fifteenth. Mm-hmm. The Way Home is what that's called. Wow. Uh, the Way Home is a family drama following the lives of three generations of women: Cat Landry, her fifteen-year-old daughter Alice, Alice. and Cat's mother Dell, who are all strong, willful, and independent. So that's happening. I think we will be covering that as well. There is also a movies and mystery on the docket for January 8th called Family History. I don't have any information about that as of now. And Just those- to be safe, I'm going to give them all zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ooh. Well, there you go, everybody. There you go. There's your new year, new movie preview. We are going to be off tomorrow. Wow. And we'll be back on Thursday. We do take a day off occasionally. We this is the low the, the, the easiest week of the year, everybody. Only two episodes. Can you believe it? It's almost mm-hmm. like we're normal humans this week. Uh we'll be back Thursday with one of my favorite episodes of the year. This is the mailbag episode mailbag. where we read the Christmas cards sent from Deck the Hallmark fans from around the world. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to read those. I can't wait for you to hear it and see it on Philo TV. Uh, uh, anything else, boys? That's all I've got. Me too. Great. Yep. Thanks. Uh, Rig, anything else? Oh, I think I've made my point. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, all you right, guys. Talk about the pants movies. Yeah, we got it. Shush. Uh, I shush, 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 shush. 
mailbag episode on Thursday. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, watch it on Philo TV. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Nellis' name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support. When you've watched a tiny kitten grow into a healthy senior cat, you remember why you chose Cat Chow. Because it's backed by 60 years of expertise. Cat Chow makes yummy formulas for cats of all ages, which makes me one happy cat mom.